Hey guys, welcome back to Subnautica. The uh, new update has rolled out. Of course, some of you pointed that out on my last video that it was no longer the prawn update, but it is now the dangerous creatures update. And um, actually what had happened was I had recorded a bit ahead like I do sometimes because my schedule kind of demands it. Um, and uh, what happened was, of course, the game updated. You know, we were getting kind of near the end of the series, and uh, the game updated, so we are now in the Dangerous Creatures update. And uh, this is actually the same map. Now, there were two more episodes supposed to come out uh, that were base building. We were here in the Grand Reef, and we were building a base, and I was going to... Um, we would built that much of the base, and I was going to leave it up to you guys to determine if we wanted to continue building the base or just kind of finish off the series. But of course, since the update has happened, there's more to it now. And there, as I said, it is the Dangerous Creatures update. Because they've added, well, some dangerous creatures. One of the biggest, most notable creatures is the Sea Dragon. The Sea Dragon, uh, you may have seen in some people's videos if you've watched other people's videos. Uh, he's always been, well, not always, but he has been spawnable, uh, if you know how to spawn creatures in. But he's now officially in the game, and he's in the, he's in the lava zone, so he is deep down. Another creature that we may see, uh, because he can appear anywhere, is the warper. The warper is a creature that literally just warps around. He's aggressive. He'll toy with you, he'll warp you near him, and if he sees a dangerous creature nearby, he may warp that dangerous creature near you. So, um, he may pop in at some point. Now, of course, it's hoping that the update is okay. Um, of course, the map didn't, this time when I booted in, uh, the game didn't request that I update the map or anything, so... And I was actually told by a developer, specifically, that the map should update okay now, so... Uh, as long as I didn't build my base in the inactive lava zone or any uh, somewhere in the lost river that my base and everything else should be fine uh, As for other creatures one thing I had mentioned some time ago was the crab squid and how they were dangerous because they had an EMP blast Apparently that wasn't in the last update. I thought it was uh, But it's in this update. So if we encounter a crab, a crab squid they will uh, become very aggressive and let out an EMP blast that can disable pretty much anything. Uh, they can disable the Seamoth, they can disable your base even, so you have to be careful where you build your base. Um, now, we are just in the Grand Reef, where actually the island is right near above us, uh, but the crab squid are supposed to appear in the deep Grand Reef, and we're not quite near there. The entrance to the deep Grand Reef is somewhere over in that direction, I believe. Uh, they've also added the final uh, ruined base, which are the people from the Degasi, which was the ship that came about, down about 10 years ago before us, that we've been seeing their bases and PDAs around. So there's one more, and it is in the uh, Deep Grand Reef. Uh, somewhere near the entrance to the Lost River, I have heard. So, um, yeah, and as for another update, uh, the last episode, of course, you guys saw was me on the uh, island, uh, the, the big island out there where we found the massive energy signature. Now, I had been told uh, by one viewer that the precursor gun was out there, and that's what that big energy signature is supposed to be. Now, I looked into it, and there was never a gun out there, but technically, we were both correct. Um, Basically, what it is, is the Precursor bases and the Precursor gun that shot down the Degasi and the Aurora, uh, it was a fireable gun, uh, but it was in the experimental version of Subnautica. <clears throat> it was in the experimental version, and it was removed. Uh, so the uh, uh, commenter who was telling me about that said it would get removed later, and I had said that it was never in... Uh, but in the way I was right is that it was never in the non-experimental version. So there are two versions. There's the experimental version, which basically uh, gets updated every time they uh, push a new update to the game. They'll put in experimental stuff and remove it. 
Um, but the version I am in is in basically the stable release version. So the uh, precursor bases and the precursor gun was actually never in this version. So uh, we were both right. Uh, that was basically what happened with that. So we were technically both correct that it was in the game and it was never in the game. So that's basically that. So again, there are several updates, which means there's more to see. Uh, but this is actually, again, the same map we were on. As you can see, Old Sea Lab is over there, along with the Energy Pulse Origin. Um, we had started building this base, and I had ended it after two episodes because we ran out of materials, because surprisingly, that took a lot. Um, but we're out here. I had moved out to the Grand Reef. We were... I had pondered doing it on the island. I did, had comments made on doing it on the island, but I realized that it would be tough to get our prawn suit, our Elysium, up there, which is over there. So everything is out here, and as you can see, um, which of course you guys didn't see because those episodes aren't coming out now, is I packed uh, this base, uh, the the Queen Melody, with stuff. I mean, look at all these lockers of things that are in here. Uh, and the island that we were on, I had explored it and I gathered a bunch of materials. There was gold, lithium, there were diamonds, there were so many diamonds, there was salt. Um, I can't remember what else is out there now. I had explored the island in the off time, and there was a bunch... There was actually some underwater caves out there as well uh, that I actually got lost in. Because I had taken the Elysium out there and had done some digging. So, I mean, here we are. We're basically back in our stable early development build, not the experimental, so there was never any precursor stuff on this map. Uh, but hopefully, I've been hearing weird noises ever since I've been out here. And that was a new noise. So we're not actually very far from... It's actually quieter out here. We're not far from... Welcome aboard, Captain. Huh. They've added new sound effects. That's pretty cool. So I guess that's one big update. So, uh, yeah, we're basically out here in the Grand Reef because we wanted to build a big base. That was uh, my mission, to uh, build a new base and actually have a functional one other than just, you know, ones that always served the purpose of the series. So we came out here, and so we had our grand entrance here. I'll give you guys a tour, even though, uh, yeah, because of building it. So we've got one solar, power, solar panel powering this whole thing just to get oxygen while we built this. Um... We built this. We well, found a couple creatures out here that I caught while building. Um, out here was going to be the. Uh, this was basically our hub room, and I think this is going to be our storage and crafting room. We were going to put a moon pool out. We were going to build the moon pool next, but I ran out of materials. Like we went through titanium like crazy. This was like our garden room, um, and it's really cool because. Man, I like that sound. That's cool. It's a bit eerie. Now I'm of course. A bit spooked because the warper. The warper can appear anywhere. I mean, nowhere is safe. He'll even warp you out of your base, I think. They said if he spots you, he'll warp you out of you like your your uh, vehicles and stuff. So basically what we had out here was this nice little open garden. Now, I've just put one out here out of necessity because we needed some creep vines and some stuff. So this was going to be our outdoor garden. This is going to be our garden room. And that's cool. So yeah, this is where we were going to be growing, you know, stuff that we find. And I was going to have a lot of glass and all that kind of stuff out here. This, this was going to be our power room where we put our nuclear reactor. So, uh, now I know some people have mentioned that maybe I should build my base, uh, in the Lost River. Because there's now a new, now this was of course mentioned before, uh, there's some new stuff in the Lost River. And it's supposed to be a very nice place. But um, I'm kind of hesitant to build any kind of real base in places they're updating, you know, uh, because they will get taken out. So, like, building in the inactive lava zone, building in the lava zone, or building in the lost river that they're still kind of fleshing out, uh, you know, my base could disappear. So, uh, but we're, we're building a base out here. So there's, there's definitely more to see. There's not a whole lot. Uh... Man, I'm just afraid I'm going to see the warper now, because this place used to be just totally safe. You know what I mean? 
There was nothing out here we had to worry about. Now warpers can just pop in anywhere. Uh, but other than that, the warper is really the only thing we have to worry about. Um, so yeah, I mean, really the plan hasn't changed that much. Of course, now we've got a new base we can go explore. Um, none of the precursor stuff, of course, because that's not in the non-experimental build. So I wanted to continue building this base. And, of course, I had left it up to the episodes you don't see to see if you guys actually want to see the continuation of building a base. Because I've never actually built a super solid, amazing base before. They've always been just completely out of necessity. Man, I go through food really fast, don't I? Crap. So I've never built a base just purely out of, you know, will to build a base. It's always been out of necessity for, you know, a series because, you know, you need a, a place to go. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. So uh, I put everything down here that's like, you know, mechanical and not resource stuff. So yeah, so here we are. Hey, it's the Queen Melody that's making these noises. Jesus. Need to put our lights on so we can actually see the base. So yeah, as for much new, I think they added I think they added like an armored suit now too, and we'll have to go find that. Now I know people have told me I should get the torpedo arm. I don't know how much use that is going to be, because the torpedoes, there's two types. There's the vortex, which just basically sucks things in like a gravity ball. And then there's the, um, oh, what do you call them? Uh, the gasopod ones which do poison damage. Now, I assume you could probably kill things with it, and we may go out and look for it. Uh, that might be a future thing that we do. Um, because at the time, I was pretty much ready to wrap up the se Look at the lockers have gone dark. That's always a weird visual bug. Um, you know, we were kind of getting close to wrapping up this series, uh, but of course, they've added new stuff in the meantime, so... Um, let's see. These are ready, so I'm just going to eat away. Let's get our knife out before I make this too difficult for myself. Eh. Oh, come on. For the love of God. These are always so... I need to be able to crouch. There we go. And I think I've still got room. Yeah. Of course, we've got our garden on our own base, and then we'll just drink this up. Great. All right, so for now, we're going to go ahead and continue building the base, and you guys can let me know in the comments. I'm sorry I've taken like 10 minutes already to explain everything that's going on uh, to get you guys up to date on things that happen, things you miss, all that kind of stuff. Um, so if you want to see me continue building the base, let me know in the comments, because I imagine it'll be kind of fun, but of course I don't want to bore you guys in building the basics while- And I have to kind of repeatedly go out and grab supplies. Now one thing we were going to work on was getting the uh, moon pool done, and let's see... I had crafted an ingot somewhere- oh yeah, there it was. Ingot. Let's see, how did... How many did we need for a moon pool? Needed four ingots, we got three, so we needed 30 titanium. I had to go out and find more titanium. I mean, Jesus Christ. We ran out, we got lockers of titanium. I mean, this was a titanium locker, this is a titanium locker, and that's a titanium locker, and we used it all. But I went out and got more, I fished out more. This was before the update, actually, so anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Of course, base, uh, power's getting low in here, so we gotta get a reactor up going soon. There we go. More titanium for the titanium gods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This takes so much titanium. It's a, I, I sit there and think back on, you know, the base that that was even built out there. It, it, well, bases, of course, the uh, base, the, the sea lab out that way, sea lab mark 2, uh, that was for the uh, last update. Of course, 
that was spawn in just for the sake of the series. But man, when we built this thing legit, holy shit. I can't imagine how much titanium it actually took. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And see, look, I've already emptied out a locker. Okay, that's all we need for that. So we've got... We need four lubes and four advanced... Uh, one advanced wiring kit. What was an advanced wiring kit? Uh, what was lube? Lube was just those pods, right? You need three clusters, and I know there's two in one of these lockers, so... We'll have to go out... Man, that is cool. I like that. It's like a... You know, like a, just a little air hiss. I like that. Like the airlock. Very cool. I'm totally expecting to see one of those warpers out here now. Oh yeah, where am I going? I'm going... I probably don't have enough space for this. So yeah, we grew this out here so we could start getting some lube. Because of course, now that we're living out here... Who's line Blueprint. New blueprint acquired. I guess because of the update... That's new. Okay. Let's just grab up. Inventory's full. Okay, good. I guess because the update uh, it may not register things, so if I like find blueprints or something, it might tell me I've not learned them again. I don't know. I'm just look I'm looking around because I'm just expecting to see a warper come in. Okay, how much did I get? I got three, so we got enough for one lube. I gotta go out and get another. All right. Need two lube. I know you need four lube. Jesus. Okay, four lube it is. We'll do it. Maybe I should empty my inventory a little bit more. Because that's not a problem I have. Inventory management. Anybody that's ever watched me play these games to have inventory. They have the worst inventory management ever. My inventory is always full. Hello? And that's usually all I can carry. If I got rid of this other shit, I could uh, carry it. Use this a little bit more. Go back and forth. Alright. Get another lube. Am I even carrying a battery? Damn. You know what? Stop it from happening. It's not so loud as it used to be. Alright, let's grab another. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. I think once we get the moon pool in, we can start turning our crafting room into an actual crafting room so we don't have to keep coming back and forth to the Queen Melody. This is gonna take a while. All right, looks like we're only gonna get the moon pool done before this happens. Now, let's see, we've got three lube. I need one more, so that means I actually only need one more of these pods because there's two in storage. And this thing feels like it's going faster now. Is it? it really does feel ultra fast. Anyway, of course I got my, uh, I got my fins on that are helping to kind of charge things up as we go, so. All right, I think it was. Things got moved around. Oh, for fuck's sake. There we go. Yeah, the battery charger is not sounding as violent as it used to. Okay, so. Moon pool, we just need an advanced wiring kit. Alright, what was the advanced wiring kit? It was like gold and shit. 
was gold and a computer chip. Two gold, so let's see. Computer chip was a silver quartz and two coral, which we got. I brought some. You can see I got some. Smart, ain't I? And silver. Oh, yeah, we had a floater. I, you guys didn't get to see that, unfortunately. I'm going to grab some acid mushrooms. You guys didn't get to see that. Is that the um, one of those floaters had attached itself to the Queen Melody? And um, looking for silver. They might not have a locker specifically for silver. Oh, yeah, we do. Uh, one of them had attached itself to the Queen Melody and was causing her to uh, to float to the surface. And I didn't know what it was for the longest time, but it was floating to the surface and her front end was going up higher than the back end. It was so spooky until I actually figured out that uh, we had a floater attached. So let's see, computer chip. There's one, right? Yeah, we just need two gold. All right, we found plenty of gold on that other island, so. There we go. Now we have enough for our moon pool. We're also near the sea starter path, so there's actually some renewable resources we can gain. So let's... Is that attached? I think that's attached. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, we added some reinforcement because the glass took down some of our... Uh, our hull integrity. So yeah, now we got the moon pool. That's awesome. Kind of hovering out in the middle of nowhere. That's all right. Welcome aboard, Captain. I do like the windows. The windows are amazing. So we got our moon pool back. Oh, uh, so we'll be able to dock up. But now we need power. Of course, we'll need to get like uh, the stuff. Now, one of the things I forgot to mention. I said you know the other base is out there. I didn't like tear anything apart. So it's like out there for us to just kind of visit on missions. Uh, but we just took all the supplies out of it, so everything's still out there. The moon pool's still out there, the um, the chargers and everything are still out there. Everything is still out there. Uh, it just doesn't have supplies anymore. So uh, let's get a reactor up and running, or at least get the start of a reactor. Now that we're down here, let's see. Exterior modules, really? A thermal plant is considered an exterior module. Interior? Oh, they reordered this stuff! Interior pieces are now like exterior modules. These are these are new. They've reordered the stuff completely new. Oh, neat. Okay, so water filtration, bioreactor. Uh, let's see, nuclear. We need two titanium ingots, lead, and lube. That will not be too hard. We'll get that done. I'll try to get that done before the end of this episode. Actually, I know we're already pushing for time because I, I talked for 10 minutes. I waffled on. I apologize for that. Welcome aboard, Captain. All Thank you. Online. We're online. All right. What I said was it was two titanium ingots, lead and lube. All right. Let's go get more lube. Uh, titanium. So we've emptied this locker already. God, I'm going to have to go out and get more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have to go out and get more titanium. Jesus. I like scrounged for so many supplies last time. Like the first time I scrounged, you know, found a bunch of, you know, stuff I could use. Then the second time, it's getting a little bit harder to find stuff. I think the sea striders actually dropped some. I know they dropped like copper. I think they dropped some titanium too. I'm not too far away. I can always, and I'll do that stuff in off camera. I don't want to do that stuff on camera and make you guys just watch an entire episode of me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't want to make you guys like watch entire episodes of me just gathering supplies because it does take a while. Um, and considering we're kind of to the point where discovery is becoming less and less, you know, gathering supplies as we go just isn't a, as much of a thing as it used to be. Three lead and a lube. I gotta go ahead and get lube. Okay. Ex 
exterior grow beds are really cool, actually. I should probably get those acid mushrooms out here because I don't have the beans to make a battery yet. But we've got internal grow beds as well, so that will work out. Okay, got the lid. And then I think I just need three lead. Do I have a lead? Yep, I do. There's a lot of lead out there too. Yeah. All right. We're gonna have a reactor. I don't have the means to power it yet. I mean, I've got some. Uh, I I did gather some more of the. Um... Oh, I suddenly can't remember. Excuse me. I saw you swimming through here. Are you inviting people to party? You can if you want, but you gotta let me know first. Uh, some of the, the powering crystals for some reason Can't remember the name of it. Y you ever have one of those days where it's like things you've said like 300 times over in your life And then one day you sit there and try to remember the word and you just can't for whatever reason. That's me right now uh, Let's make it face this way Holy shit our nuclear reactor Check this baby out 550 power Holy shit Man, look at this baby. So what we have to do is we have to put titanium rods into this thing. Um, and then once we get that powered up, we can actually start kind of officially moving everything into this base. And actually, because, let's see. Because this was going to be like our crafting and storage room. We'll like put another room off of that way, probably. Because we could actually have two moon pools. You know, one to dock each each thing. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be like our storage and crafting room. Uh, I debated putting a window out there, right there, but I probably will not. Just because we already have we already have some other windows, and plus we can like build another level up and have windows up there. It'd be cool. Whereas we have I don't know, building bases. Building bases is always. Like a, uh, kind of a, if you're fickle, it's, it's hard to build bases. Alright, so what do we need to make? I know you need three of the crystals to make a titanium rod. But we've actually already got some because I spawned them in a long time ago by mistake. Um... Yeah, uranite crystal. So we got some, but we've already got our uranium. So what do you need to make? It's an advanced material. We need uranium, lead, and titanium. Oh, fuck, we can do that right now. It's gonna end the episode, but fuck. If we can uh, do that now, why not? Titanium, and what was the other thing? Shit. Bad memory. It was lead, wasn't it? Just one lead. Alright, we can do that. Alright, there we go. I was gonna end the episode right there, but, uh, we get the base powered up. God, I thought. Ever paranoid, but I'm gonna get I'm gonna get actually get calm and forget all about the warper, and then one day he's just gonna pop in on me and I'm gonna scream. It'll happen. Alright. Let's do it. There we go. Now does it You don't have any real indicator of how much it's gonna give, but power going up so we're gonna have like fuck tons of power so all right there we go I would say it's the start of our base but the reality is is like you know this was already here but I mentioned this before if you guys want to like see the uh, want me to like continue building this base like in videos uh, let me know in the comments because 
base building is actually fun, and like I, I've said before, I've never actually built a proper legit base before. They've only been kind of to necessitate, um, you know, videos of the series. So, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if you want to see. If not, uh, let me know if you just want me to go explore uh, the new stuff that's here, like the Lost River and, uh, you know, going deeper down into the uh, inactive lava zone where we could see the sea dragon. Um, but yeah, let me let me know in the comments. And in fact, I'm going to wait for the comments. Uh, so episodes of this might come out just a little bit slower for the time being, you know, until I kind of know what you guys want to see. In the meantime, I will gather up some more supplies to kind of keep stocks full. And then, um, you know, if you guys don't want to see base building, I'll build the base on my own. If you do want to see base building, we'll, uh, we'll do that. Just let me know. So, um, alright, so Dangerous Creatures update. Haven't seen a Dangerous Creature yet. Uh, but, yeah. Alright, well, I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.